Hi guys, Professor Latimer here, the CC Mom Who Loves Science, and today we're going to be talking about CC Cycle 2, Week 12, Hands-On Science Experiment. So this is also one of my favorite projects um, that I remember doing when we did this uh, cycle before, and it's creating constellations and talking about constellations. And so um, there's a lot of good questions you can ask about um, constellations and ask the students, well, what is a constellation? And uh, what do they notice when they look up at the night sky? And does it seem like um, the stars form shapes? And is it just stars that we see up in the sky? And, um, you know, they kind of look similar, but there's also things called nebulas. There's galaxies that we can see. Um, there's even star clusters. And so there's all kinds of things up in our night sky. And they do look like they, they kind of make some shapes. And that's what a constellation is. It's an arrangement of, of stars or nebulas or things that we see in the night sky that kind of make a picture. And I like to use Nicole Liam's um, transcripts from CC Connected. She's got some really good discussion questions. And this week she's got um, some other fun stuff to go along with this project that, um, depending on how you want to do it. So, um, you know, we can talk about, okay, sometimes we see shapes in the clouds, but we can also see shapes up in the sky at night with the stars. So constellations are groups of stars that form patterns reminding us of, um, of a person, of a place, of a animal of a story and so um, it's interesting to note that there are 88 officially accepted constellations and they have names and they may have heard of some of the names there's um, Orion there's the Big Dipper which is part of the constellation um, Ursa Major and there's Ursa Minor there's Taurus the Bull there's um, Leo the lion and so um, ask him if the students if they've ever seen of these constellations up in the night sky uh, it's also interesting to note that if you live in the northern hemisphere in the northern half of the earth that the stars that you see are different than the stars that you see if you lived on the southern hemisphere and so um, that's kind of interesting to think about that we see different stars and talking about also um, what did people who lived long ago before we had a GPS or computers or phones, you know, what did they use the stars for? And see what the students come up with and see if they know if they use the stars for navigation when they were sailing um, in their ships across the oceans or even across land, they would use the stars to help them navigate and they would use the stars to help them know what day or what time or season um, it was. You know, the, the sky is, is changing um, each night. It looks a little bit different each night as the sun, as the earth spins and as the earth moves around the sun. They could kind of track, okay, this is this time of year. It was kind of like a calendar for them. It helped them know the seasons. And so... Um, so it helped them, and they also used them for stories. And so they would imagine these pictures up in the sky made from the stars, the constellations, and they would come up with these myths and stories about them too. And so today the students are going to get to create constellations. So there's different ways you could do this. You could take um, black construction paper and star stickers and show them examples of some different constellations. So Nicole Liam has um, some examples of some different constellations and you can find others online. So you could, it could be as simple as taking a black piece of paper and putting star stickers or using even like glow in the dark pins. Um, and then maybe take, once you have them drawn out, taking them or turning the lights off and see if you could see your constellation. One thing that we did, um, the last time around when we did this cycle was we took um, 
we cut out cards like these and we um, poked holes through them. And actually, we did it on a piece of, of black paper. So I think we laid the, the template on top and we had a piece of cardboard behind and we took a, a push pin <clears throat> and pushed, made holes where each of the stars are through our black piece of paper and into the cardboard. And so our black piece of paper would have holes in it. And then we used, um, it might have been a glow in the dark gel pen to kind of connect the dots that we made. And then we took these and we, we turned the lights off and we took a flashlight and sh uh, shown the flashlight through the holes on the paper and you could see the dots, the stars show up on the wall uh, and look like the constellation. So these are ones that my kids did. And so they did, you know, where each star is, they made a little hole and then we, when we shined a light through it, you could see it like the constellation on the wall and that was really fun um so I, if if you can do it that way that was that was a lot of fun and we had a lot of fun with that um, it could be just as simple as doing stickers or the glow in the dark um markers would be really cool too so um here's her uh, third picture of her science script so you know here is what um, the constellation Orion looks like in space. This is um, Ursa Major, which our Big Dipper is part of. So kind of what they imagine the animal to look like. Um, and they would make stories about these as well, especially in Greek mythology. So this is a really fun week, and um, I remember really enjoying and the wonder of being able to see the the dots through the page and it looked like the constellation so they can each kind of maybe choose a different constellation to make and and see what that looks like up on the wall and so this is just a really fun one and um so that wraps up the second uh, six weeks of cycle two and then the next six weeks we'll be back in the van cleves book for the next six weeks so have fun with these experiments guys and i'll talk to you soon